Hi, Michelle Hollinger, publisher of The Sisterhood, and I am doing something a little bit different from the Sisterhood snippets that I've begun to do. Today I'm answering a question that many of my readers have posed to me um, by either email or in person. And that question is, where did the idea for The Sisterhood come from? And I, I really can't pinpoint you know, where the, the idea first emerged, but in the mid to late 90s, I wrote a poem for, uh, it was a, a, a Christmas present that I gave to some of the women in my life. I decided I did not want to do the commercial thing that year. I wanted to give them something from my heart. And so I wrote this beautiful poem called The Sisterhood Exchange. And after that, you know, here and there, the idea of, of sisterhood will crop up, you know, from different experiences, different situations, and it just never went away. Um, so fast forward, to about maybe a year, a year ago, um, I took the leap of faith and I started the sisterhood. I started this publication. The first three issues were online and then we started our first print edition with this in November that featured Councilwoman Lisa Davis with her fabulous event, um, the food and wine experience in Miami Gardens. And then the following month in um, the month of December, we had these fabulous wealthy women uh, Terry Williams, president of One United Bank. You all know who that is over there, Oprah Winfrey, and Madam C.J. Walker. I wanted to add it to add um, a historical element to the publication, and we do that from time to time. Um, because sisterhood, to me, is something that's been in existence for a very, very long time. January, we came out with this beautiful publication um, with uh, Fabiola Florenville on the cover. We wanted to kick the new year off with some energy and some punch. And I think Fabi, you know, definitely captured that. In February for uh, Black History Month, we had this beautiful issue with the president of Florida Memorial University, Dr. Rosalind Artis, and another historic icon, uh, Dr. Mary McLeod Bethune. Really, really proud of that issue. Um, following month for Women's History Month, month of March, we had Commissioner Barbara Jordan, who's doing some wonderful things in District 1. And we had attorney Olivia Benson, who's the author of a book called Answers from Within. So we spotlighted these, uh, these two of uh, Miami's uh, finest on the March issue. And our latest issue is Millennials in Motion with Alexandra K. Harris and Ernisha Randolph. And these two millennials are doing some fantastic things in their respective fields. Alexandra's in photography and Ernisha's in the hospitality industry. Uh, pick up the issue to read more about these two. Essentially what my whole intention is behind the publication is spotlighting women who are living their lives on purpose. These are women who have some of the same encounters that all women have. We, we all encounter fear. We all encounter this, this uh, this, this idea about stepping out of our comfort zones. We all kind of take a look at our lives and wonder if we're doing all that we can do to live the lives that we're here to do. Well, this publication spots like women who get that. And the idea is that each month when my readers pick it up, it will serve as a reminder to them that if they're not already living on purpose, that it's not too late and that they owe it to themselves. They owe it to themselves to be reminded that this is not a dress rehearsal, that the life that we are here to live has our name on it, and it's up to us to discover what that is and to get busy living it. You know, I'm spotlighting women who, who you know, they feel the fear like everybody else, but they're like, watch out fear, I have things to do. I have places to go. I have ideas to express. That's what the sisterhood is all about. Each month we bring you high quality content um, that, that inspires you, that enlightens you, that empowers you, that, you know, that is thought provoking. And the cover, the cover of each publication is just brilliant, beautiful, because my graphic designer who lays it out beautifully is also the illustrator. Her name is Kathy Charles and she does a fantastic, fantastic job. If you have not already subscribed, please do so. Go to sisterhoodnewsmag.com. And you can find the link there to subscribe to this beautiful publication. Michelle Hollinger, publisher of The Sisterhood, thank you for listening.